What is up guys? So in this video, I'm going to do a recap of how I made um, $700 today trading both PG uh, options and trading ES futures. All right, so let's going to go ahead and dive right into it. So let's go ahead and look at PG first and we'll go into ES. So PG, uh, Procter & Gamble, had earnings uh, today. So I had earnings, we had a huge gap up, and typically I trade my scalping strategy on stocks that have good volume and stocks that have earnings or a big gap in the market. And today we had a pretty big gap. So I was watching it on the list today. Now you can see I have a ton of levels on here. Now the way I trade my levels um, is very specific. Okay, I'll, I'll break that down for you on the trade recap. But the way the reason some of these levels are important is that if we look at these blue zone here, this was kind of my main pivot. I was saying, okay. You know, we have a very strong support area here. We have a lot of strong resistance over here. This blue zone is going to be a very big pivot. And I got this green zone here from this recent high here. So price was gapping up, right? We had this previous resistance right here. And that was going to be another area that I was watching. Okay, and all these other levels I got from the daily chart as well. I use them for my scalp. So coming into the market, right? If we look at the one minute chart, price initially opened. Uh, pretty green, right? We opened, we had a, a quick wick down into this green zone, and we ended up rocketing higher. Now, initially, I was actually looking to get long right when price got up to this area here, right? And it just went way too fast without me, okay? Price just went straight up. I couldn't get a fill and just kept going up and up and up. So I said, okay, I'm going to wait. I'm going to readjust. I'm going to see if there's a better setup to come. And we see this big move. We see price get above this two double blue zone here. Okay. Now, when I see price get, ablo get above this blue zone, I say, okay, that was my pivot from, pivot from previously, right? We see that we have very strong support, very strong resistance. So if price is above here, we can definitely see a move higher, target some of these upper levels. And that's exactly what happened. So I ended up seeing and waiting because the way I wait for my setups is waiting for supply and demand to form. And over here, I was able to tell that there was demand being formed, right? So typically... When I play supply and demand, what I'm doing is, let's say this is our demand zone, I'm waiting for that demand zone to be formed, get the move out of it, and then buying the pullback. But when I do my scalping with options, my quick one to two minute scalps, what I do is I'm actually buying the breakout of when demand is being formed in real time. Okay, so it's just a different way of trading supply and demand. I do it both ways. Uh, but for quick scalps, this is the way I do it. So here, price was holding both my double blue levels, my blue zones, and we see that spike up, end up getting in right around here. So right as price breaks out, I see that move. We're up at my next level. We see two more um, candles of consolidation, more demand being formed, and we get that move higher. Now my stop is gonna be right below this low. So my stop is gonna be right actually below this one minute demand zone right here, right? So again, the way I do my scalps very quick, very in and out, taking base hits, not going for crazy risk rewards, not doing anything like that. So I get in, price ends up rocketing higher, I end up getting out majority as price hits this level here. The way I do is simply just trade level to level. Okay, so when price gets above, I look to get long and I target the next level. Okay, so I take out majority when price on this spike here, price gets up to that 158 level. And I'm holding a few runners for this 158.91 level. Now, the next few candles, price ends up dumping, right? We come back down to this one minute demand here. And I say, okay, I'm gonna hold on. Hopefully we can, you know, Get another move higher push up to 159 get out the remainder of my targets end up dumping so i end up cutting out uh the remainder of my contracts right here and walk away with 1200 bucks on that trade so very very happy with how that trade went could have made a lot more obviously if it worked out but simply just playing level to level i was able to come away with 1200 bucks this was like a less this was like an eight minute trade six minute trade i mean this was less than 10 minutes so very happy with how that trade played out now you can see I also took another trade on ES. I ended up losing close to $500. So I want to break that down as well because it's actually uh, recently just hit my profit target and I would have taken a nice win on it. Um, but let me go ahead and show you what that trade was. So the way I do my ES trades and my SPY trades, I always look at the chart on SPY, okay? It's just the way I do it. Um, I'll look at ES as well, but I also like to keep an eye on SPY and mainly trade based off this chart. So these are the levels that I have coming into the morning, right? We have this VAH level, stands for value area high. We have this VAL level, stands for value area low. Now, the morning trade that I was looking at open was essentially this. We have this demand zone all the way down here, right? Market opens right at this candle here. 
Okay, so we have this demand zone down here. We have supply zone up here, right? Keeping it very simple, you know, I'm simply just looking for buys at demand, looking for sells at supply. All I was looking for this morning. Now we add in this VAH, VAL level, we look for those rotational trades. So I was looking for, okay, if price can come down, hit demand, we can get back above this VAL level, right? I'm gonna look for price to rotate up to this VAH level, right? So that's exactly what happened. Now price ended up coming into demand. We came all the way down to the bottom. Now I didn't get in right as price hit demand. Okay, I could have done that, but what I wanted to do is wait for confirmation. So I zoomed in on the one minute chart, right? Let's do this. So I see price come all the way down, right? We hit demand. We end up coming back out of VAL. Now, where in this price action did I decide to get in and why? Well, I decided to get in right after the break of this high here. Okay. Now, why this high? So, so if we see prices coming down into this demand zone, move this over here. We're in a downtrend, right? In order for price to get down to demand, we wait for the downtrend, right? So price comes down, we make a high, we make a low, high, we make a low. And then price ends up breaking this high right here, right? You can even see we have small little supplies in right here. This one minute supply right there. Price ends up breaking that supply. And so when I see that happen, I say, okay, we're, we're price coming into demand, right? We're breaking out of VAL. We get above the short term high. Now I'm pretty sure that price is going to A, take out this liquidity right here, and then B, go towards the VAH level, right? So I ended up getting in right when that happened. So right around there is my entry. Put my stop right below this low here. So we have a little bit of demand formed in this area. So put my stop right below that low, okay? And my target was all the way up at VAH, right? So about a two R trade, right? Very, very good risk reward. This is very good setup. Now, what ended up happening is that price took out liquidity right here and we took it and we ended up dumping right below. Okay, we ended up dumping, we take, took out that demand, took out that low, and ended up going back higher. Okay, now I ended up getting stopped out. That was the loss that you see right here. So I got stopped out in this trade here. And it was a little unfortunate, right? Obviously price came down. And looking at it now, I could have said, well, you know, now we're going up towards my target, right? But this is an instance where I don't have any complaints, right? Obviously looking back, what I could have done better said, okay, I know there's liquidity here. You know, if I'm getting in long, right at this area, it stops right, you know, right around here. If I target that liquidity, that's a 1.3 R trade. I should be taking at least some profits off at this high. And I didn't do that, okay? What I did was I said an OCO, I said, all right, I'm just gonna let it either hit my stop, hit my target, walk away. What I should have done was actually set two OCOs. One to take, you know, a target, take off profit right here at this high, and the other one to take profit up at this high. But for whatever reason, I was like, uh, I'm just going to set it. I'm going to walk away, right? It's always hindsight. It's always easier to look back now and say, oh, I should have gotten out here. But with that being said, I am not, you know, mad at the way I traded at all. I'm actually very happy with how I traded. This is a setup I would have took 10 times over again, okay? This is a good setup for me. Unfortunately, it just didn't work out. And now looking back at hindsight, right, I can say, well, maybe it would have been a better idea to, you know, take off profits here. And so that's something that I put in my journal to say for next time, you know, when it, when the weekend comes tomorrow, I can study and say, you know, maybe I should refine my edge a little bit. Maybe I should be taking off majority at this first profit. Maybe I should be lowering, you know, my, my targets or having less risk reward so I can book some profits and, uh, you know, not essentially let this happen to me, right? But you can see now that the, the trade will work, right? Price came down. We took out all these lows, right? So... That's what it is with being Friday. It's OPEX, right? There's a lot of action being involved, a lot of man manipulation happening, right? So we take out these lows. We end up taking out all of these stops here, right? So everyone who's long in this area, you gotta, you gotta understand like how, how the markets move. Everyone who's long in this area is probably putting their stop right in this low. So we go down, we take out that low, you see the increased volume. We end up ripping right back up. Then price holds this VAL level and we end up going back towards the high. Okay, so it is what it is, right? I'm not mad at how I traded, right? That's the way I trade. I have small losses. I have bigger wins. I still ended the day up over $700, right? On a 50% win rate. That is something that I will take every single day. My day was done in, you know, the first uh, was it 30 minutes, the market being open, first like almost hour or so, and I was done, right? I took one win, one win, one loss, and that was it, okay? And 
what you can see as well, actually, if I pull up the Slack here, you can see that in the team, we've been absolutely crushing it. I mean, even though I took a loss and took a, and, and a win, still ended up profitable, right? We had pre right here, we could, caught puts at the top, scaled out of all positions, done for the day, right? We had, where is it? I couldn't find it, but here it is. Adam, 10.30 morning, said 30% so far with runners remaining. So you can see that what he did is he actually ended up taking profit up here, right? So that, looking back, obviously that's something I could have done better, but still, right? You follow the plan, you take your profits, you scale some for runners, and that's exactly how you should be trading, right? But again, I'm very happy with how I traded, you know, $700 on the day. Cannot complain about that at all. So if you guys did enjoy this video, guys, please leave a like, please subscribe. Uh, comment below other videos you should make. I'm putting out a lot more videos. Um, if you are interested in joining my mentorship, joining this group chat here, I put out a plan every single day, right? A lot of these students here have been making really good profits um, every single day. I can scroll for hours and hours and hours, but go ahead, click that first link in the description and you can get a chance to book a call with someone from my team. We'll see if you're a good fit, make you consistently profitable in just eight weeks without relying on alerts, without trading more than an hour a day, um, every single day. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.